Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa and this is my little corner of YouTube where I show you all of my crochet and knitted projects and things that I make, things that I create. I am a crochet designer. Uh, I have done one knit pattern as well, so I guess I can call myself a knitwear designer as well. Um, I love designing garments and shawls and things like that. And so if you have any questions or you want to see the designs that I have created, you can go over to my Ravelry, which is linked down in the description box down below, where you can find all of my patterns, as well as Lovecrafts and I have a few on Ko-Fi or Ko-Fi, however you pronounce it. I do have a few on there as well as my website where you can find my hand dyed yarn as well as stitch markers that I have made myself. So let's go ahead and get into this episode. Anything that I mention will be linked down in the description box down below where you can find me as for uh, Instagram or Facebook or Pinterest. I'm on Pinterest. Mm, anywhere else. I think that's it. Anyways, it'll all be linked down in the description box down below. I do have a pattern that will be released soon. Um, I don't have a name for it yet. I'm still stuck on that. But I showed it in last week's episode. It is the Silver Infinity Scarf. It will be released soon if you want to be in the know or to get it at a discounted price. You can sign up for my newsletter. And the link for that will be down in the description box down below as well. If you sign up for that and become a newsletter subscriber whenever I release the pattern for the silver scarf or any other pattern i always give my newsletter subscribers a discount for being around and um supporting me so you if you want to do that you can um i think that's it i wanted to go ahead i forgot to mention in last week's episode that i have a video that i posted Last week, it is a supplemental video for the Gallia cow. The Gallia cow is or was featured in a blog hop hosted by Raylan, Ned and Mimi, which I believe is Sarah, and Hanjan, Hanjan, H-A-N-J-A-N, I don't know how she pronounces it, uh, forgive me for butchering it, but she is Hannah. Uh, those three hosted the blog hop, and I was given yarn support for that uh, blog hop by We Crochet. This yarn is, I believe, called Simply Wool. It is a worsted weight, undyed, eco wool. Very soft and luxurious. You would think that with it being wool that it would be scratchy. And I don't necessarily have a sensitivity to wool, so um, that's not, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't tell you that it's not scratchy for you. You would have to try it to see for yourself. It is more of a rustic wool, but it's not a scratchy wool, not for me at least. It is squishy, um, but I had a viewer ask me to do a supplemental video because this diamond pattern here and you'll have to forgive me i don't have my ends woven in i am bad about that but they were having trouble with this diamond pattern here and was needing some help and they asked for a supplemental video and so i did a supplemental video for them to to help them with this pattern now, I recommend getting the PDF. I don't have a free version on my website, but you can grab the PDF from my Ravelry and follow along with the written instructions and the video to help you get through. Because in the video, I don't tell you how many rounds to do of each uh, step. 
I just go through each step that is different so that you know what you're doing. Um, I can't remember what the measurements for this is. I'd have to look. I believe I just got this one accepted on Lovecrafts as well. But it is a very lovely wool. And I like tucking this one into my jacket. But this was Tuesday's video last week. And you can find it on my channel. Hopefully I'll remember to pop it up here in the doobly-doo. But yes, that is... And it's a simple pattern. It's not hard to do once you figure out the repeat. Um, if you can do post stitches, you can do this. Uh, I know somebody will ask. Um, I would consider it more of an advanced beginner because you have to know where to put your post stitches. But really, if you can figure out how to do it, if you can figure out the post stitches, uh, anybody can do it. You don't. You ain't got to put a label on it. But <clears throat> that is the Gallia cow. So that was admin. I think that's it. Oh no, I posted a video today. Is Tuesday. I'm all over the place today. Today is Tuesday, January tenth, I believe. Today, which. By the time this video comes out, we'll be on a Thursday, um, but Tuesday, I put out another video, which is an embroidery video to do um, embroidery eyes for am Amigurumi. I took and got an order for a Winnie the Pooh, and the stuffed, an stuffed animal, the bear, uh, was for a baby, and the pattern that I used, which again will be linked linked in the description box down below, um, it called for safety eyes. And one, I didn't have safety eyes. Two, I was afraid that they would be choking hazards for babies because the baby that I was making this for is three months old. I talked about this in my last week's video. Um, but... So I took and did embroidery eyes for Winnie the Pooh, and um, I took and did a video. It's just a small five-minute video to help you if you would like to do embroidery eyes for Amigurumi. So that is this week's video or tutorial. Um, if you're interested, you can go and check that out. It's... It'll be linked down in the description box down below as well. Or you can just click on my um, channel name, which is down here somewhere, and go to my channel, my YouTube channel, and it should be one of the newest videos available. Okay, I talk so fast I'm out of breath. <sighs> okay. It doesn't take much for me to get out of breath here lately. Uh, by the time you see this, I will be 30 weeks pregnant, and it don't take much at all to get me out of breath. <laughs> uh, my husband thinks it's funny, because I ain't got to do nothing but talk and be out of breath. But, I have a couple things to show you. Oh, hopefully I remember to put a picture somewhere here of the Winnie the Pooh. I finished it and gave it to the recipient yesterday so i don't have it here to show but i did take a picture and hopefully it's here i don't know um hopefully future me will remember to do that <clears throat> okay so i will show you that goes there okay so uh, I didn't talk much about my the past few weeks on last week's episode, I don't think. But I was I took kind of like a hiatus for a few weeks um, for the holidays. Uh, the week before Christmas, my husband is a truck driver. And he drives local now, but every once in a while he likes to go and take a trip and drive and so he had his boss send him out for 
<clears throat> a load or to take a load to North Carolina. And I went with him. This was the week before Christmas. And so we went to North Carolina. And on this trip, I took one project and worked on one project only. I believe I only had one project. I may have had more, but I only worked on one. And this is the project. Now, I'm hoping by the time I get this done, I can fit into it. Uh, I've been seeing some projects, some patterns here lately with this design. Not the stitch pattern and stuff, but I don't, I wouldn't call it a dicky, and I wouldn't call it a poncho. Um, if you watch Kat from Heather and Hops, which she's changed her YouTube channel name, I believe now, but um, Kat, Kat from Heather and Hops, she did a knitted version. I can't remember the name of it, but it was beautiful. Um, I've seen a few crocheted uh, patterns. Hopefully, I will put in a picture of Kat's uh, piece here so that you can kind of get an idea. But, essentially, you have the front panel. Here's the shoulders. Like that. And then you will have another panel that goes in the back. And then I'm going to put a thick turtleneck here to um, kind of cover up this, the edges here and create a little bit more design. And then for the sides, instead of it being like a sweater or a jacket or, or cardigan or whatever, the sides will take an either button or we will have ties for the sides. And so it is a lightweight <clears throat> piece that you can put underneath your jacket to give some extra warmth in your neck and your chest and stuff for cold that's for the cold that's coming. I don't know if you had the ice snowstorm that we had, but I live in Donovan, Missouri. And the week that we went to North Carolina the week before Christmas we got home we left tuesday and got home thursday and we got home after getting some dinner uh, or lunch thursday we came home and it wasn't an hour and the storm hit and it hit bad we hit we hit in the negatives we hit in the negatives and we lost water for a few days and ended up having to call off our Christmas dinner, which was that Saturday. Um, we had to call it off and reschedule it for the next Saturday, which would have been the, what was it, New Year's Eve? We had to do it on New Year's Eve instead. It is what it is. But um, we, we lost water and everything, and it was cold, cold, cold. And, um, that's what, that's what I think about whenever I make stuff like this. Now, this is acrylic, so it's not going to be as warm if, as if it would have been wool. But, any, any, um, any piece is going to add warmth to any garment or whatever that you wear so that's what i think about is it may not be wool but it will add some warmth and the yarn that i'm using is yarn b soft and sleek dk it is a low pill fiber the color that i'm using is ox blood it's kind of weird but that's what that is um let's see the stats on it there's 114 grams per ball, uh, 478 yards, 437 meters. It is considered a DK. I am going to say that is a very light DK. I would honestly consider that a number two weight. 
uh, in my opinion. I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook. It recommends a 4.5, but it's beautiful yarn. It's a, I mean, if you can't tell by the name of it, it is a deep, rich red. Um, I really like it, but it is on the thinner side. And I, I prefer usually, now I use fingering weight and stuff like that for socks, but for garments, I usually do DK to worsted. I'm not big on bulky yarns very much, but, uh, let's see, have I took, yeah, I am on my second skein. This is what I have left of my second skein. I've got four of these. And so, um, I am predicting three skeins <clears throat> to make the size that I'm making. Um, this will be a pattern in the future. So, you can see that. Um, I don't know how many sizes I'm going to do. Uh, hopefully, I will be able to size it up to where there is a wide range. And it be size inclusive. It just depends on the stitch multiples and how everything goes. So, um, but I will keep you updated on that. My next project that I'm working on, and I started this Saturday. This past Saturday. Excuse me. Um, I This is the same yarn, just a different color. I'm using color, <clears throat> this skein is all messed up. I find that these skeins that are wound like this tend to get messy really quick. I'm using color white and color Irish rain. Irish rain is... Mm, not quite a forest green but it's a deep green i really like it did i show you this last week i can't remember but it's got the same yardage as the red and i've got two of these and two of the white and that's what i'm using for this project this is what i have left of the green for the first skein and this is what i have left of the white of the first skein so you can see what the dominant color is at the moment but can you tell what it is yet okay i'll put it on and show you oops took the stitches out okay so make sure i don't catch it on my glasses but it is working on being a sweater I'm hoping that the short rows that I did in the back are gonna lay out I'm feeling them in the back hope, hoping that they lay out but if you don't know what short rows are whenever you buy a female blouse usually there's extra fabric in the back to account for what we call short rows when we design uh, hand knitted and hand crocheted garments and what this does is when you put extra fabric in the back it brings the neck forward so that the garment doesn't choke you whenever you wear it and so I incorporated some short rows in the back and I don't know if I did them right I just kind of did them my own way and we shall see if it works but I'm getting a where's Waldo vibe from this except Waldo's red and this is green but um maybe it'll work maybe it'll look good we shall see but I did for the collar here I did uh double the length fold it in half so this is a double thickness collar I've never done one of those but I see them all the time and they look nice and toasty and warm and i I, uh, I agree. It is nice, toasty, and warm. Um, now, I don't have much of a neck, so 
this doesn't I don't know how I like the collar in this length I may have needed to do half this length but we shall see once it's finished but I do like it and you see the ribbing the ribbed collar uh, here's the short rows in the back let's see you can see it starts there ends right there so the stri the white the beginning white stripe is a little bit thicker in the back but your hair will cover it up and so I'm not too worried about that I am also to prevent having thousands of ends to hide I am also carrying my yarn here when you look at the other side you can't see the yarn being carried so I am not worried about that um my magic number right now is seven if you don't count the short rows here if you just look at this front there's seven rounds here per stripe and why did I choose seven I have no idea I don't know I can't tell you it's just the magic number that I chose and it's working for me so um I have probably half of my yoke done and we shall see how it turns out if I did it right or if I did it wrong I may have to take it out and try again on these short rows if they don't block out and lay flat but I'm not gonna seriously know until I split for the sleeves and try it on as a sweater so that that is that we shall see how that goes and that my friends is all I've been working on oh this is also a four millimeter crochet hook four millimeter for D for this size DK weight is my my sweet spot right now um plus that's the one I had because I've only got a few hooks over here at the house right now the rest of them are at the office so which in fact today's Tuesday I believe the 10th uh, me and my husband are supposed to work on getting the rest of my stuff for the office moved over to the room that I'm going to be using so that's that once we get the rest of it moved over then I can start working on organizing and getting things the way I want them and I just I have to wait on my husband or somebody else because I've got shelves and I've got a desk and stuff like that and I can't lift them they're too heavy for me to lift and so that's that's the downfall of all this is I'm having to depend on somebody else to do the heavy lifting and I'm not used to that I'm used to doing things myself so but hopefully my office will start getting pulled together soon and we can start uh, videoing from there which will be exciting I can't wait to be able to decorate the space the way I want it and everything but um what else yesterday we went to McDougal Arkansas to do music practice and stuff because McDougal will be doing a youth rally Saturday at five o'clock and so my husband included me and he he volunteered me for that and so we're, we went to music practice yesterday and um the the youth rally itself will be saturday they were talking yesterday about how they're going to i mean i'm included in the youth and uh they said something about letting the youth take over and I'm like I I haven't been youth in years um one of the ladies who's older than me she's like oh you're still youth and I'm thinking one 25 is not youth two when you're old enough to be married got a kid on the way you got an 11 year old you're really not youth <laughs> 
you're not youth but i i will i will take it and try to feel as young as possible but um sorry i keep moving but yeah i i enjoyed last night it was long because mcdougall is about 45 minutes away from us and so we went we had practice at 6 30 at night which is late for us because my husband gets up at 4 4 30 in the morning monday through friday and so he goes to bed at like 8 or 8 30 and so driving all that way and driving back it's it's kind of hard on him but at the end of the day we do enjoy it um anything else life stuff no i have a doctor's appointment friday i don't think there's anything important going on i think it's just kind of like a checkup because i'm at that point now where i have to go in every two weeks until um, is it 35 or 38 weeks and then i go in every week after that so but the doctors have done ultrasounds and everything and say that baby is um growing normally and everything is fine but yeah baby is doing good and everything is going pretty good very good i think that's everything that i have for now um i guess i guess i'll see you later uh it's i only recorded for about 30 minutes i figured i'd have more to talk about but i guess with me trying to do videos every week like i'm doing um it'll get less but i'm like i told you last week i'm trying to be more intentional with Missouri makes and part of that is being consistent with my videos so every Tuesday and every Thursday I am trying to put out a video now I may not have a podcast every Thursday I may have something else on Thursdays but I am trying to be consistent with two videos a week so um I think that's it Oh, I had one question. I put a poll out on Instagram today for uh, people's opinion. I told you last week that I had planned on putting the Winnie the Pooh and Magrimi, the stuffed animal. Um, I planned on putting the finished product in my shop or, yeah, in my shop soon. And I plan on doing it soon. But I am debating on how to do it. Do Would you prefer if I put the price of the stuffed animal and then you pay shipping? Or would you prefer that I include shipping into the price of the stuffed animal? So one way would be, this is example, this is not the price of the Winnie the Pooh. But say it's $25 and you pay $10 shipping, it would be $35. Or would you rather take and me do a set price for shipping uh, and do $35 for the item and free shipping? It is the same exact, it is the exact same exact thing, uh, just worded or put differently. What is it that you like and what you like to see? I will give it, I'll give you the choice on how I put it, and I will take note of it for future listings as well. So, you tell me what you want, and I will, I will do it that way. But, uh, you can either go to my Instagram stories and put your vote in there, or you can leave a comment down in the comment section of this video and tell me what you think. Uh, either way, it's appreciated and i will follow your lead but yes i think that is everything i don't have any new yarn to show you this week i 
I don't think I've got anything new besides those two projects that I'm working on and they shouldn't take too much longer. Hopefully I can get those done pretty quick now that I'm not working. But I guess I will see you another day. Y'all stay safe, stay warm, drink you a hot cup of coffee or tea, um, and stay crafty. Keep working on stuff. And if you want, you can show me over on Instagram, tag me in what you're making, and show me what you're making. I would love to see it. And I will see y'all another day.